Hey everyone, I'm Amelia. Today we're talking about how to sit the canner and how to move your body with the horse's motion in the canner. Um, the canner is a very different motion from the trot. The trot's a two beat motion. And it's kind of like just a bouncing up and down. The canner is more of a circular kind of a rocking horse movement. So when you canter, your hips actually a little bit move to, from the back to the front of the saddle, like as the horse takes the stride forward. And then your hips need to, I always think about keeping my shoulders still and then moving my hips. So your shoulders are kind of still relative to the ground and your hips are moving back to front. It's really important that you move with your horse in the canter because if you don't, your horse isn't going to keep cantering. Like a lot of riders tighten up and they kind of like are bouncing the canter or posting the canter. That's all going to cause your horse to tighten up their back and they probably are not going to keep cantering. So let me demonstrate. Okay, so when I'm cantering, first I need to get a nice forward canter going. So that's an important piece is that you want to get your horse going forward enough that you don't feel like you have to keep driving them all the time. So I want to just have a nice canter where I feel like I can kind of let my legs hang. Now when I think about my seat, my seat is doing a little swish in the saddle from back to front every stride. So it's going back front, back front, swish, 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 swish. So that, cause that's what the horse's back is doing. So as I'm carrying around here, my seat's going back to front, back to front, back to front. And then there's a little moment where your seat goes front to back, but that's not as important. So some common mistakes that I see riders make, the most common is that they just don't let their hip joint, like your hip joint right here has to flex in the canter. So if you don't let that flex, and you're stiff, your butt's going to start doing this. You see how now I'm slapping in the saddle? It's kind of like I'm almost posting the canner and that's not good. So again, if I let my hip joints move, now I'm sitting in the canner. Another one that I often see is that riders canter with their shoulders instead of their hips. So they kind of like, I can't even do it. It's really hard to do. Let me see if I can demonstrate. So when riders canter with their shoulders, they're basically going like this. Like they're trying to pump with their shoulders to get the horse to canter. And you can see how this horse is like, what are you doing? So I've got to keep my shoulders and my hands still and let my hips kind of swing forward between my hands. So let's do the other lead. So again, a good canter seat, your hips are moving from back to front in the saddle. Your upper body is vertical over your hips. So I'm not too far forward, nor am I too far back. I'm thinking of that little swishing motion that my hips have to swish from the back to the front of the saddle. If I lock up my hips, I'm gonna get this, right? Now you can see bounce, 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 bounce. That's not very nice for my horse's back because I'm landing in the saddle every stride. If you're moving too much in your shoulders or your upper body rather than your hips, you're gonna get like this, where you're kind of like, and you see my horse is like, oh, should I trot? I don't know what she wants. But if you're trying to pump with your body and move your shoulders too much, that's not good either. So again, you're, Canner seat is really a swish from back to front that your butt swishes. And I don't, you know, I'm not gonna like drive like this with my seat, like excessively, but I am gonna be sure that I'm following the motion of my horse so that I get a big elastic forward ground covering canner. Your horse is gonna canner how your hips move. So if I move my hips in a big circular forward arc, my horse is gonna canter that way. If I canter with a stiff back and a stiff hip, my horse is gonna canter with a stiff back and a stiff hip. So 
those are just some things to think about for your canter seat. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment if this helped. The end. <laughs>